puppy smugglers are finding it easier to sneak animals through border controls because of government cuts, the Spca claims. They bring dogs into Britain through ports at night when staffing levels are likely to be low, and although official records of illegally imported pups are at their lowest for three years, the animal charity says the trade is booming and 2018 was its busiest year yet. Experts reckon smugglers are simply getting better at staying under the radar, with the help of UK border force cutbacks. Only 440 pups were seized at borders last year, compared to 1,287 in 2016 and 1,037 in 2017. Most are from Hungary, Latvia, Lithuania, Bulgaria, and Poland. David Bowles, SPCO Assistant Director of External Affairs, said, It's interesting to see these numbers have fallen but this doesn't translate into a decline in problems associated with the puppy trade. Last year was the busiest yet for the SPCO with more calls about the puppy trade than ever. And we know many are trafficked from overseas. The number of illegally landed dogs being confiscated by authorities reflects the efforts put into tackling this problem by border control staff, but this issue is not always a priority for staff manning ports. We suspect puppy smugglers are exploiting weaknesses and are better at escaping detection. Mr Bowles said SPCA operations at ports revealed traffickers often choose to drive through at night when ports have few, or no border staff on duty, our officers also found smugglers try to hide dogs in vehicles behind walls of unrelated cargo, like boxes or bales, he said. Unfortunately, border control agencies are struggling to cope with cuts, unless the government is prepared to invest in enforcement, perpetrators will continue going unnoticed, creating a major animal welfare problem in England and Wales. The SPCA also wants public help to stamp out smuggling. If you're thinking of getting a dog, visit your local rescue center instead of buying a puppy and potentially fueling this awful trade, said Mr. Bowles. Leading welfare charity for Dogs Trust has called for new laws to stop smugglers. Its investigations show Serbian vets are exploiting the EU pet travel scheme by faking Hungarian and Bulgarian pet passports and microchips for pups under seven months, a DEFRA spokesman insisted, we operate one of the most rigorous pet border checking regimes in the world and we are planning a complete ban on third-party puppy sales.